So guys, Zillica to $1. Can it happen? In today's video, I'll be answering that question and a lot more. So stay tuned and also watch to the very end. My name is Tom and this is Crypto Busy. So with that all being said, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so to start things off, we're gonna get into the Zillica mood. So I'm gonna turn on the lights that are relevant for Zillica. We're in the Zillica zone right now. And what we're seeing with Zillica, likewise with many other cryptocurrencies that are out there on the market, it's starting to break out. And this is thanks to Bitcoin and also Ethereum. This is also thanks to Elon Musk and Jack Dorsey talking about Bitcoin last week and some positive news that we're seeing in the market overall. That does not mean we're out of the woods. We've still got a bit of a way to go to get into that confirmation for the market to get back into where it was early this year. But again, we've got to have that overall perspective, that large perspective when it comes to crypto, have a long-term perspective when it comes to these sort of things. So this is a win at the end of the day when it comes to the market, when it comes to Zillica. So you can see right now, it is up 11%, nearly 12%, uh, an all-time high in the last 24 hours around uh, you know, 7.3 cents and uh, you know, a yearly high of around 25, nearly 26 cents. So that's good to see that the fact it's managed to get up to that space already, that's great to see. You want to see that for Zillica for this project. Yes, I will be going through some price predictions for the end of this year and also much more in this video. So do stick around for that because we've got a lot of interesting stuff to go through uh, for Zillica. So as you can see also it is rank 80. Uh, this thing can easily go into the top 20 in my opinion because it does deserve the spots. If you don't know what Zillica is, um, Zillica is sort of a competition, it's in competition with Ethereum and many other cryptocurrencies that are out there. One thing that does separate itself from the competition is that it has this sharding technique and there are other cryptocurrencies that like to you know, try to mimic what Zillica can do, but Zillica is the, uh, the first market mover when it comes to these sort of things. So the fact that sharding is used in a technology where you can split up the blockchain into uh, an, you know, theoretically infinite amounts of pieces and you can run an infinite amount on transactions. So when it comes to scalability for Zillica to run transactions on there, it's, it's actually amazing and you can sort of let your imagination go wild with the amount of people that could use Zillica as an ecosystem and also as a payment infrastructure. So what would be really cool to see is we're seeing many things out there, a report on uh, Rishi Sunak talking about a Bitcoin. Um, I, you know, I, I'll, put, I'll leave my opinions to this later on in today's video, but we do have uh, governments across the world that are interested into using CBDCs or their own version of cryptocurrency. And if we see that Zillica could be used as the base uh, for this, then that would be quite interesting. That's a real world use case for Zillica right there. Um, along with XRP as well, that could be a payment system. So there's many other uh, you know, competitions and competing towards what could happen, who could be the, the underlying payment system. So Zillica is based in Singapore, so we could see that happen there as well. So also gonna go through some Bitcoin and some Zillica technical analysis, seeing what's happening with this as well, because when Bitcoin does well, so does the rest of the market and it does drag up where the alts are going as well. So we have to look into the overall perspective. We have to look at what Bitcoin's doing because it does dictate and we also have to look into the finite detail what's happening with Zillica. I'm also going to go through the market I'm seeing right now because we are seeing Bitcoin close above $34,000, which is good to see, but we need to see that continued momentum. Um, I do expect to see dips. I do expect to see corrections along the way. As I said in the beginning part of this video, we're not out of the woods just as of yet. We are going to be expecting more dips, more corrections as we progress through this bull cycle. Again, my opinion of what we're seeing right now, we're seeing an overall bull cycle, but a correction within that overall bull cycle. And I think we're going to be having that one last bull run, that one last leg upwards, and then we're going to be seeing something different after that. But I think for the time being, we have to look at where the market is right now. And it's looking good. It's looking on the up. Again, not out of the woods as of yet. We have to take every day as it is. But right now, the overall capital in the market is nearly $1.4 trillion, which is good to see. The Bitcoin dominance is 46%, along with the Ethereum dominance of 18%. I do expect Bitcoin's dominance to increase as we progress to higher highs for Bitcoin, as we progress for Bitcoin to go to $50,000 to $60,000. For that price action, for that momentum, to, you know, for there to be needed, we need to see Bitcoin's dominance to go to those sort of uh, areas, you know, a 50% plus to go to um, $60,000 to, to begin with, and also to see new all-time highs for Bitcoin. But here's the good news for the altcoins for Zillica. 
What that means is over time, we see all of that capital flow into Bitcoin. And that's great to see from the outside sources from fiat into crypto. And then over time, we see that crypto, we see um, that fiat from Bitcoin and that capital from Bitcoin go into the altcoins. And that's where we see a massive rush upwards, you know, crazy, crazy returns, in my opinion, not financial advice for the altcoins for Zilliqa. And that's really important there as well. Now also be sure to follow us on Twitter at CryptoBusy. It's a great opportunity to get the behind the scenes knowledge of what's happening uh, at CryptoBusy and also some really cool stuff on there as well. We love interacting with you guys. And on top of that, we get, again, we get some behind the scenes stuff what's happening. So this is our new office. We're in our new studio. We're getting more stuff in. We're going to get a 4K setup. We're going to get uh, some really cool stuff happening behind us. So again, stick around for that one as well. So let's go into some Bitcoin and also some uh, Zilliqa technical analysis. Again, we're going to go through this in much further detail what's happening uh, with this. So what you can see right now uh, with Bitcoin uh, is really a good leg upwards. We're seeing sort of a breakout for Bitcoin. It did test the 30K region. It did dip below 30K for just a, a day or so. And then we see that massive leg upwards. And so what I have been saying is we need to see better news. We, see, we need to see that good news in the market for the next leg upwards. And that's what we've been seeing but that does not come without corrections. Corrections are inevitable, dips are inevitable. So I would expect Bitcoin to retest the 30K region just one last time before we see that confirmation of that support before we close above $35,000. Now, here's the next thing. If we see a close above $35,000 on the daily time frame, which I'm on right now, again, if we see that close, that daily close above $35,000, then this will look good for Bitcoin and for the rest of the market in the immediate short term, for where things will be going and i think the next stage will be the 40k region but you know we just see 37 38 and 40k region will be a big one and i do think after that so the 42k region we'll see a lot more people becoming more interested into bitcoin more interested into crypto and this will again lead another flow into the market and another leg upwards now it's interesting i haven't done a, a video on Zilla for quite some time um so my last technical analysis was around here pretty much um, also go around here. Um, but looking to where it is right now, we are seeing sort of a breakout for Zilliqa, which is good to see. Again, up around sort of 11, 10% uh, on the daily, which is really cool to see that one there as well. But most of it is dictated where Bitcoin goes. If you can see this chart right now, if we look at where this chart is, and you put it side by side what's happening with Bitcoin, it looks very similar to what's happening. So when people ask me, like, what's happening with this particular altcoin, what's happening with Ethereum, what's happening with XRP, with Polkadot, with Chainlink, with Zilliqa, I say the first thing you need to look into is Bitcoin. And that gives you the overall perspective. And then if you want that more detail, that more extra detail what's happening uh, you know, with uh, that particular altcoin, such as Zilliqa, then look into the specific charts. But you need to get that confirmation and you need to get that bias from Bitcoin first before you go into the technical analysis for uh, Zilliqa for any altcoin there. What is good to see is that it is closing above the 20 EMA, which is really important. We need to see that close. So we're seeing a close above 6.8 cents. We need to see the next close above 10 cents. That's gonna be an important one. That's gonna be a very key level, also a key psychological level for Zilliqa. So we're looking at the exponential moving averages here. So we do need to see that close above those regions before we get to the next stage upwards. And I will be going through my price predictions for Zilliqa in today's video. Um, so yeah, it's looking good. The next stage we need to see, we need to see that close above 10 cents for a better confirmation of, of bias. And then we go from there onwards. So also be sure to join our Crypto Busy VRV Coin Calls where we have a great community on there. It's all on Discord. So make sure that you have Discord. We go through much further things in much further detail, um, you know, with the markets, with Bitcoin, with Zilliqa and much more on there. Um, and yeah, you get great support from the team. We go through, again, the market in much further detail. Let's put myself over here. Um, so you can see here we have two tiers. We have the uh, coin calls and also the coin calls gold. And um, yeah, we have a, a great opportunity to, to get you guys on there as well. Um, it's, it's really cool stuff and it's really fun and interactive. And we go through webinars in much further detail. So again, all links down in the description below. So also leave these articles I've gone through in today's video, links down in the description below so you can check it out for yourselves in much further detail. Some more technical analysis on Zilliqa and the forecast on it and where things need to be going for Zilliqa. Really interesting stuff. And also on top of that, you can also stake Zilliqa. Um, so I use the Atomic Wallet, which is also good to see. Um, you get that 15% return for Zilliqa. And there's also ZillSwap, which I'll go through in much further detail in another video. Um, and then also Jeff Bezos is exploring Amazon payments in crypto, and this could send Bitcoin up to $70,000. This will send uh, crypto, the market, onto the next stage upwards. So we need to see that confirmation uh, for Zilliqa uh, and also for Bitcoin to go to the next stage upwards. So I'm just going to turn it down just a little bit more, as you can see. Look at that. See, we just we like to you know invest in our videos we like to put some other stuff in our videos we can change the 
the lighting and everything. So I'm going to talk about the price predictions for Zilliqa. So what I'm seeing right now is you know some green in the market. That's good to see. So you want to see that. But what I need to see for Zilliqa again is to go above 10 cents. Um, so it is what it is right now, sort of uh, 7.1 cents at the moment. I think in immediate short term, we need to see it close above 10 cents. I've already said that. But to get to its all time high, get back to its all time high of 25 cents, that's going to take a few months. So I think if the you know, if this trend does continue with Bitcoin, then I think by the end of September, we could be seeing it back up to those sort of regions again. And I think by the end of this year, towards the end of this year, um, I think a 50 cent silica would be interesting. And I think in an overall perspective, in a longer term perspective, I would not be surprised if silica can reach one dollar uh, because, again, of the um, you know things that they're doing, the partnerships they're announcing, the technology. We have to look at the fundamentals behind this. And this does also reflect in the price in the long term when it comes to these projects. So silica to one dollar, that is for sure. And I think also in a longer term perspective, I don't think in this particular bull cycle, but then in, in longer bull cycles and further on down the line in the future, probably by 2025, you know, that sort of region, we're talking long term here. Then I think also $2 a liquor is also on the cards as well. It's also on the table, which is also important. So $1, that is the important one there at the end of the day when it comes to these sort of things. So comment down below all of your thoughts and opinions what we've gone through in today's video. Um, you know, whether you agree with me, whether you disagree with me, um, you know, again, we're not out of the woods. There will be corrections along the way. That's important. So bear that in mind. And I do mean that literally as well. Um, and then also, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, make sure to leave a like on this video. And also, if you're new to the Crypto Busy channel and you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Crypto Busy channel today. So that's it for me in today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.